9.3 part 5, the very last problem in the course. And of course, I give you fractions, right? Um, this is a quadratic. I have a square, an x, a constant equal to zero. It's already in the right form. I can say my a is one half, my b is one sixth, my c is negative one, use the quadratic formula and solve it. But most of us aren't going to like that. And the good thing is that we can still clear the fractions and this will work. Remember to get rid of the fractions or to kill the fractions, we multiply by the LCD. My denominators are two and six, my LCD would be six. So I'm gonna multiply everything in here by a six. Okay, so think of this as distributing all the way through everything here. Well, six times one half, half of six is three. So this is three X squared plus one sixth of six is one. I'll go ahead and write the one in here, even though it doesn't have to be there. Six times negative one would be negative six. Six times zero is zero. So my A is three. My B is one. My C is negative six. Now let's plug in to the quadratic formula. X equals negative B. So negative one plus or minus the square root of B squared. So one squared minus four times A, which is three times C, which is negative six. And this is all over two times A and A is three. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's simplify inside here. Well, that's going to be negative one plus or minus the square root of one squared is one minus four times three times negative six. Well, four times three is 12, 12 times six is um, 72. So this is going to be plus 72 over two times three is six. So I have negative one plus or minus the square root of 73 over six. Well, 73 is a positive number that is not a perfect square. So I expect to get two irrational solutions. I need to see if I can simplify the square root of 73. Well, 73 is one of our prime numbers. So that does not simplify. Your two solutions are negative one minus the square root of 73 over six and negative one plus the square root of 73 over six. And that's the very last problem. One thing I always like to do in the last section of the course is to come back and show you what we did in the very first section just so you can get an idea of how far along you've come. This is what we did on the first day. We talked about solving that kind of equation. We were solving this kind of simple, simple, simple equations. These are just tiny little problems that are very simple compared to where we ended up now. Okay, this was the hardest problem we did in that entire section. All right, congratulations guys, you made it all.